I can't really see where did I miss mm. Junior Watson, I be on my Four, five, six, 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 my hair with you guys so what I'll do is go ahead and link the video that I filmed for this hair in the description bar down below but this is boho knotless braids and it is human hair intertwined within it I'm obsessed again if you're interested in it I did a whole video about it so make sure you watch that one after this one but again, makeup is done. I am about to get ready to throw on my clothes, but I wanted to quickly share with you guys what I am wearing. So I'm gonna be throwing on this jacket here. I talked about this before. This is from Amazon. I have it in navy blue as well, and I'm so upset that I didn't get the cream when it was in stock, but I'm gonna be wearing this. And I'm also gonna be pairing it back with these like carpenter style pants that I got from the thrift store they need a good iron. Am I going to do that? Probably not because it's raining and the time is going by and I want to get there quicker or more in the earlier hours. It's from 9 to 6 and it's about 9.30 now. It's going to take me 30 minutes to get there. So we're not ironing. <laughs> and then underneath, I'm just going to be putting on this tank that I got from um, Target last season. Target has the best like just basic tank rib tank tops so good I think this was about eight dollars so yeah oh and then on the bottom I'm going to be putting on my favorite pair of shoes and it is these of course you've seen them multiple times these are the piece minus one collab so I'm going to go ahead and throw these on and then head into the kitchen to make a coffee so that I don't have to stop and pay for it okay let's get dressed all right so this is the fit girl i put the fit on and i instantly wanted to take it off but not because i don't like it it's because i'm obsessed it's so cute so my husband and i are going to a like couples date night tomorrow at top golf and so i needed something like casual yet elevated and this is definitely casual and elevated so i'm like should i change sorry about the yellow light in here but anyways i'm like should i change and just wear this tomorrow just put like some sweats or something on because this is just too cute to just to go you know um antiquing in Ugh. decisions but anywho i'm in a time crunch so i'm probably just going to keep it on and see if I can get creative tomorrow. And then I really like the jacket and the shoes with the tank underneath. So I'll probably just change out the pants tomorrow and still wear this combo. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply some setting spray because I did not put any setting spray on. This cute little makeup organizer is from Timu. If you did not see my previous video on my nighttime routine where I talked about the items that I picked up from Timu. I will link that as well, but that's where I got this from. I really, I have the one size setting spray and then I also have the Morphe setting spray. The Morphe setting spray is actually my favorite. I like this much better than the one size. Don't judge me, but I just like this better. So let's put this on, make our coffee and then head out. All right, y'all, so we are finally in the car and headed to the antique or the like pop-up antique shop. Super excited. I am specifically looking for accessories and jewelry. Like I told you guys when I was getting dressed, 
I just did a huge thrift haul. I will show you guys once I get back to the house. But if I did it before I left the house, girl, I would never left the house. So I will show you guys what I picked up from the thrift store clothing wise. So I'm going to be focused on really unique jewelry, watches, bracelets. Like I want a really cute like arm stack. I feel like that is missing in my wardrobe. I normally go pretty minimal on my jewelry, but when I do wear jewelry, I want it to be, you know, classic, but statement, if that makes sense. So the reel that one of my supporters sent me, the girl found amazing jewelry and I was like, I gotta go. So hopefully I'm not putting too much on it. Um, and if I don't find any jewelry, hopefully I can just enjoy the experience. That's another thing that I'm trying to kind of coach myself into and that is being present and like really just enjoying the experience you know I get to um, go to this beautiful antique shop you know be around like-minded people because if the other people are there they enjoy thrifting and antiquing and vintage things as well so I'm trying not to put too much on the outcome but just enjoy the experience but your girl do want <laughs> I do want some really cute unique jewelry but anywho I'm going to focus on the road and I'll pick you guys up once we get there I'm a little hungry I kind of want a breakfast sandwich like a little uh, croissant or something so I may stop once we get a little bit closer but again I'll see you guys once we get there So we just got in the car. Sorry if you hear a lot of noise. We're very close to the Atlanta airport. So there's a lot of planes flying overhead. Give that disclaimer first. So I stuck with my mindset of, you know, not putting too much pressure on finding things and just really enjoying the experience. And girl, that was the best advice I could have gave myself because it felt like I took myself on a date. Like I truly love like vintage shopping, thrifting, all of the things and it was so much stuff the things were beautiful absolutely gorgeous i would highly recommend i'll put the information for this like pop-up antique expo in the description bar down below but i did get some goodies um i really tried to find the vendor that i seen on the TikTok, and i was able to do so and these are her iconic bags these are vintage Taco Bell bags from 1997. I thought that was so cool. So these are real deal vintage, okay? I I just, these were like old, 
antique like if i put on like a really modern outfit and throw these on i think it's a vibe so the first one came in this cute little thing she had a five dollar bucket and then she had like a ten dollar section so before i came out i set a budget of forty dollars i'm like i'm not spending over forty dollars now with that being said <laughs> If and when I come back to this little pop-up expo, I definitely will up the budget because they have really, really nice things. But like I said, I wasn't trying to go there today. So this is in the $5 bucket and it is a long pendant. So like longer necklaces um, kind of stacked with shorter necklaces are back. So a nice deep V, whether it be like a... Um, waistcoat or a vest or just like a blazer with nothing underneath and then just cutting down so i picked up this necklace here i love this big pendant head it looks vintage i'm not sure you know exactly who this is supposed to be on here let's see mm, yeah i'm not sure but it's really really cute and i love that it hangs down so i picked that up and again, it came in this. So, oh, actually, it says Elizabeth Pendant, 1982. How cool is that? So, so cool. And then it has like um, a British Museum in there. Excuse the nails, girl. We're, we're going to get to the nails tonight. Actually, my Amazon package came in. I ordered a uh, Gel X nail kit. We're going to do that together a little bit later, but super cute. Look at that. Oh, when you say vintage, this is what I mean. All right. So the next piece that I picked up from her, same type of concepts. Again, vintage, longer jewelry that can be layered is this cute necklace here. Now this is a watch. Like how cute is that? So I have been seeing like watches pop up everywhere. And it's kind of weird to say watches are a trend, but girl, watches are a trend in the most unconventional way, kind of like this necklace that I have here. So I'm not sure, yeah, this is not working, but I probably could, probably could put a battery in here. I'm not pressed, but like the watches that kind of wrap around, I seen some beautiful absolutely beautiful watches in there that's why i was saying the next time i go i'm going to up the budget to probably about a hundred dollars so that i can buy at least two or probably three depending on my negotiation skills of those gorgeous watches like i said i wanted to get something like to stack but with my $40 budget, baby, I was my <laughs> my eyes was too big, the price was too high. So I pivoted to necklace, but this is so so cute. And the lady that runs that booth is so sweet. And she had like an old school like a uh, cassette player and she was playing like music from old school tapes. It was so nostalgic. It was just a vibe, okay? So the next vendor that I brought something from these were not vintage however they were cute and i was in the vibe <laughs> i was in a vibe and i wanted to buy something to stack so i always buy like my jewelry and things from amazon or uh just like target just a little cheap jewelry and all the stuff that i currently have is tarnished so she had this cute little stackable moment here and I thought this was cute. Again, you can get this anywhere. I am well aware, but I was already in there. So I wanted to support and get this. This was $10 and I'm probably gonna put it on now. Let's see. See, it's like very, very cute, very cute, very dainty. I love the heart pendant that's there, really cute. So yeah, that is my little excursion <laughs> for the day. Super excited about just being able to get out and have some me time and get especially some of these really cute vintage things. So I'm about to head to get some lunch and then head back home. My husband is like sick, but not 
no dog sick. You know how you have like a lot of congestion, like head cold, sinuses, stuff like that. So I'm gonna stop at Chick-fil-A and get him some tortilla soup. Is it tortilla or tortilla? Tor whatever, girl, get him some soup and I'm gonna be headed home. I kinda want some juicy crab. Kinda want some juicy crab, but every time I think about having juicy crab, I think like it's just, I don't know. Maybe we'll get some juicy crab. Maybe we'll just grab some lunch and go back home, but let's go, girl. I've been running my mouth. Let's, let's go. All right, ladies. So I just got home from antiquing and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of my new in packages that I picked up for spring. So let's start off with this box here. These are from Steve Madden. When I was recording my style video, I realized that I did not have any like cognac brown slides. And so after I filmed that video, I immediately went on to the Steve Madden website and picked these up. So let me open them up for you guys. These are the dupe for the Hermes sandals. Again, by Steve Madden. I already have two pairs of these already. I have them in white and I have them in denim. And this is them in the cognac color. Stunning. Very cute, very classic, very simple. Absolutely love this silhouette. And again, a great dupe for the Hermes sandal. If you're interested in these, I will link them down below. I will go ahead and tell you if you want them, buy them now because if you wait for spring to fully come in or even summer, they'll be long gone. And any other colors that you're thinking about, go ahead and get these. I think they were about 70 bucks. Again, I picked mine up from the Steve Madden website, but I think they have them on Macy's, Belt, Dillard's, multiple different places. Next up, I picked up something from H&M. Again, if you watched my previous spring trans haul, I was specifically talking about jeans and I picked up a beautiful pair of gray jeans from H&M. So I doubled back for another pair um, in the same or similar silhouette. This is their, let's see what they call this. Anywho, <laughs> maybe it'll be on another tag, but this is the, Oh yes, baggy large jean. This is in the curvy fit. So I picked mine up in a size 12. They're a lighter wash and again, they're baggy all the way through and the knees are blown out. I picked these up because they reminded me of the pair that have been going viral on Instagram and TikTok. I believe those were the gap pair that were unisex. These reminded me of those, but just in a lighter wash. So I picked them up. I think they were like $39.99 or something like that. Um, I have tried these on and they are baggy. They do not fit in the waist at all, but I don't mind that. They are a mid-rise jean. They kind of just sit on the waist very loosely, very, very comfortable, but I really like these and I highly recommend them. I'll go ahead and try these on and insert a clip for you guys so you can see how they fit. But I really like these and stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed because I will be styling these in a future video very soon. The next few fashion items that I picked up are just staples and they're actually repurchases from Target. So when I think about spring and specifically more so summer, I think just your basic tank and Target has really, really good tanks. So I picked up several of them. So the first one that I picked up is this tank here. Again, just your classic tank. This one is black with white trimming. Really, really like these. These look so chic with just like a pair of denim that I've shown you guys, or even a pair of trouser with some of those um, Steve Madden flats, my white pair, or even if I put on a black pair that I have, very, very cute, love these. I picked it up also in a gray. I love that these are high neck and they are ribbed. These are really, really roomy. So I would size down. I picked all of mine up in a size large, which mm, 
I wish I did not do. I would have wanted a little bit of snugger fit just because I know I'm going to be wearing these with like looser fitting bottoms, be it jeans or trousers. But I guess I've given myself some room for like wash day and things like that once they begin to shrink down. Again, same top. I got it in black and then I also picked it up in white. So these staples will definitely take me far throughout this season. And if you're interested in them, I will link them in the description bar down below. These are also another really hot item that sells out really fast. So I would just recommend going into your local Target and picking these up. The next two packages here are from Amazon and they are my nail kit. So I was talking to you guys about um, doing my nails at home. So I'm not gonna fully unpackage these because at some point in this vlog, we're going to do them together. This is the Professional Nail Art Kit. Ugh, I said I'm not gonna unbox it, but now I wanna see, hold on. All right, so now we have the packaging off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. To be honest, I really don't know what is in which box. I know one box, I actually got the gel nails that you put on and the cure that comes with it. And then one set should just be um, a gel manicure set. So I think these are the nails themselves. Yes, these are the nails. So we have all of the Gel-X nails here. Um, there is a nail clipper in here. We have the, oops, we have the nail glue and the UV nail lamp that you need specifically for Gel X. And there's a couple of files in here and then there is the uh, electric drill in here as well. So really, really excited to try this out because my nails look a fool and I refuse to continue to go to the nail salon where they are like literally damaging my nail beds. Um, anywho. All right, so this is the next package here. So inside you can clearly see the um, burner or the like nail cure. And then on this side, there are several different um, actual gel nail polishes. So I plan on, again, selecting one of these and doing my nails tonight. So you guys will see that again a little bit later on in the vlog. All right, next up, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up from the thrift store the other day. I have my rack here, so I'm just gonna be pulling from this rack. I have the rack loaded up with some potential um, outfit ideas for my next videos. I'm gonna just bring the rack over and then pull from there. Hold on. So this is the first piece that I got from the thrift store. This was $6.56. However, it was 50% off. So all the prices that I tell you guys, just go ahead and whack 50% off. I spent a total of $31 for 10 items come a little closer, $31 for 10 items. That is basically a spring wardrobe, if you have a capsule wardrobe, I'm just saying. But anywho, the color brown has been trending and I love this particular shade. It's a very deep shade. I love that it is a single breasted suit nice strong shoulders this fits perfectly and then it comes in a little bit you can see that curve right there it comes in a little bit at the waist perfect fit i plan on styling this just kind of like a blazer dressed very very good quality again on a brown kick i picked up this brown waistcoat some people call it waistcoat some just a vest this was three dollars and 93 cent again half price of that i won't say that anymore moving forward but just know again half price i really need you to get into how inexpensive this visit was but how nice these items are so anywho we have the buttons in the front there's four pockets these are actually working pockets here and they're working pockets at the front so four working pockets the back is like this nice satin finish but i really love that it has this option here so i can really cinch it in on the waist, 
very, very cute and just very well made. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell through the screen, but this is a very nice vest. I told you guys before, they sell these everywhere, Zara, H&M, Target, anywhere, but the best place to get these types of waistcoats is going to be the thrift store. You'll never see me personally buying blazers or waistcoats in the in fast fashion period because the thrift store is just going to make a better quality item every time. Now, if I am sent items, that's different. I'll rock it. But as far as spending my good coin, no. I'll always go to the thrift store for those types of items. I picked up this beautiful top. This is a lightweight knit, very, very good quality. This was originally from H&M. It was $4.94. Again, I love the weight of it. You see how it's hanging or laying on the hanger. And then it has really nice gold buttons running throughout the top. Now these aren't that like cheapy gold, but a really, really good gold. I should be popping up imagery of me trying on these pieces in the thrift store. The next piece, very similar, but it is a kind of, mm, kind of lightweight knit as well, but it has like this terry cloth material. Very, very cute. This one is still new with tags. I know this brand, I'm very familiar with this brand. This is Gianni Benny. When I was in college, I used to work at Dillard's in the contemporary department. And this was a very hot brand because the items are just very well made. So I love that this is kind of like an androgynous style look. You can make this very feminine by unbuttoning some of the buttons and wearing a cute bottom or even pairing it back with jeans. This one was the more expensive again because it was new with tags. This was $12.51. Last two pieces that I picked up are both button ups again from the men's department. Love these two very rich tones. This one is in that deep like dark cherry color. This is one of the colors of the season. And then this beautiful like baby pale blue. These two are going to be workhorses in my wardrobe. I can throw these on with leggings and a nice like sports bra underneath to run errands or I can elevate them. Again, stay tuned. I will be elevating both of these button ups. This one was $5.54. This was originally by the brand Stacy Adams, size 18. And this one is by Stafford, size 19. And I picked up for $5.45. But anywho, girls, that is my quick little thrift haul, new in items that I have for spring. I will be styling them soon. Stay tuned. You do not want to miss it. later on in the day today is Saturday it is about 5 30 I am in Bama 
I am sitting outside of the barber. My husband went in to get his hair cut. I told you guys yesterday that tonight was going to be date night. So we are here to um, have like a couple's date night with some of his homeboys. Super excited about that. I told you guys we were going to top golf. So I'm gonna be going to my sister's house to put my makeup on and change my fit. This was just my travel clothes. Oh, this is how my nails turned out. Hate them. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. I'm just not a long nails type of girl. And I let my husband pick the color. Okay, so all of this is just well outside of my comfort zone, the length, the color, all of the above. So I'm gonna be fixing it uh, probably Monday. I'm just gonna wear them for the weekend. But Monday, I'll take this color off, kind of fix the shape and find something I'm a little bit more comfortable with. But anywho, I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you guys know where we are and where we're headed. I will talk to you guys once I get to my sister's house and to get some makeup on my face. Hopefully we stay on schedule. We have about three hours, which sounds like a lot, but my sister stays a good 45 minutes from here. And then we have another 30 minute drive. So you see like we really don't have three hours. We really only have about an hour and a half. So yeah, hopefully they'll be coming out from their haircuts soon and then we can go ahead and get on the road. And then once we get there, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm just gonna be wearing one of the outfits from my previous styling video. My husband actually picked it out. I wanted to be cute, you know, cute, cute for him. You know, oftentimes what we like is completely different than what our spouse or, you know, whatever our partner may like. So um, he picks out the outfit. He said that was one of his favorite looks from the last video. He picks out the color of the nails. So hopefully it's a vibe. We shall see, girl. But anywho, I'll chat with you guys a little bit later. I'ma get down to the greedy, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains. It's a C1 I'm fulfilling. Smoke out the pound when I'm chilling. Trapping, I made me a killer. Look, I got everybody wishing. I hope you play your position. I don't want nobody listening. I see the whole precision. Give us my only decision. Never know when they back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curve. Been this right like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the floor and I swear. Keep me a stick of they bird. Young girl don't want that back calling me splurge. Drop me drunk right out the curb. Young girl don't want that they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a serve. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Smack from the back of a perm. Ice, the bird. Shitting on all you little turds. Can't take that deep with your turn. In my own life, we can't merge. So no hands you can learn. Let's see how much you can earn. We so well. Give us some fried Oreos. Young girl don't want that back calling me splurge. Drop me drunk right out Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Give me my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. I'm about to head to the grocery store. I just made my first cup of coffee in the cutest like coffee mug set. This is from T Moo. So if you're interested, I will link it in the description bar down below. I love the cute little wooden handle on it. Super, super cute. But again, it's Monday. We were traveling all weekend we got in really late so i didn't get to do my full sunday reset 
So we're gonna be doing that today. Very mild <laughs> Sunday reset because I'm not really feeling my best, but I did want to restock my fridge and get some stuff for um, basically everything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Super, super excited to stock my fridge because your girl loves being at the house. But let me tell you, there's nothing worse than being at the house with no groceries, the worst. But anywho, I'm gonna finish fully getting dressed. I'm thinking about putting on these frames that I picked up from Shein today, but I, mm, I don't really know. But anywho, let me finish getting dressed and I'll show you guys the rest of the fit. And then we will head to Kroger as well as Publix because I don't like Kroger's produce, but I love everything else they have. So we're going to Publix just for produce. Hopefully that makes sense. Girl, let me go get dressed. All right, y'all. So I have thrown on my accessories. I'm about to get ready to head out, but I want to quickly show you guys my running errands fit. So again, the glasses are from Shein. This crossbody little situation is from Target. The top is a vintage Levi's top. I picked this up from Park Avenue Thrift from the men's section. I have a Target tank underneath, Uniqlo tights, and then on the bottom, I have on my trusty New Balance and then these like deep cherry colored socks. Those are from Target. Sorry if you guys hear mowing noises in the background. Mondays are um, landscaping days for my unit. But anywho, that is the look. Let's go get these groceries. All right, y'all. So we finally made it to the car. I just realized I didn't tell you guys what we are gonna be making this week. So I'm gonna be making my Cajun um, like seared fish. So I'm gonna be doing that with loaded baked potatoes and some broccoli. And then I'll repurpose my sauce the next day. I'll be making like, uh, like a Cajun chicken and then we'll have like cilantro rice and maybe a salad or something with it. Then we're gonna be having spaghetti gotta have my spaghetti i'm trying to keep these meals somewhat healthy but we'll talk about that in a little bit so i'm going to be making spaghetti um a corn on the cob uh salad and then what was my other oh my other dinner option was meatballs i believe yeah and then lunches uh your typical stuff turkey wraps chicken wraps tuna shrimp salads oh and we're having a taco night as well and then snacks, just some cheeses, fruits, and stuff to make a smoothie. I'm really excited to get to the grocery store because we have been eating out so much. And I'm not even like, like, oh my God, I'm tired of eating out because it's not healthy. Like, I'm just tired of that flavor profile. Like, if you know, you know, when you eat fast food so much, like, all of it just starts to taste the same. Plus, we have been on go since you know, March started because of my son's birthday party. So this will be the first, this upcoming weekend will be the first weekend where we're like at the house. And I am needing to get back in the gym. Now, girl, it does not take much to throw me off of my game because I just don't enjoy working out. I like the benefits of it. I like the way I feel after, but like, before the whole process of getting there, it's just like a daunting task for me. I told you guys before that I was an athlete in high school, so I like doing activities, but just the gym culture, it's just very hard for me to subscribe to. So maybe I just need to get out and get moving, like maybe find a volleyball league or uh, something like that, tennis more often. But anywho, I said all that to say, sickness had been running rampant in my house from December all the way to the end of January. So January, I did a really, really good job. I was in the gym two to three days a week. I felt good and I could see the results. End of January hit, your girl got the flu and it has been over since then and I have struggled to get back into the gym post being sick 
So I'm really, really going to try to change that this week. So prayerfully with these meals, I'll, you know, have a little bit more motivation to get in there. But yeah, took the whole month of February off, girl. And we've been on go since March started. So yeah, we got to do something about that. And hopefully it's going to start with the nutrition. So yeah, just wanted to catch you guys up on my fitness journey. I also still need to show you guys the haul for the items that I picked up from Halera. The items are gorgeous. I've already been wearing them. I mentioned them like very briefly in a previous video. So I'll show you guys all of the items that I selected from um, Halera. Shout out to them for sending over those pieces. But anywho, we have just pulled up at Kroger. I was about to say Publix. We're going to Publix next. We just picked up at Kroger. So let's head inside. $25 in Kroger um, but this wasn't <laughs> this wasn't one of those visits where you're just like oh I'm gonna go pick up a few things for dinner or I have stuff at home I just need to couple it with something else like no ma'am this was we don't have anything in the fridge like anything in the fridge so yeah um, and also I need you guys to hold me to it if you see me in this vlog or in the next vlog eating out please tell me you got food at home like i wouldn't even be upset just say uh girl you got food at home because 325 dollars my god like food is just so expensive and i got enough for the whole week so i have well not even necessarily the whole week like the work week so i have five items or five meals i should say for dinner five meals for lunch and then five breakfast meals why are we driving so slow um but yeah so i have food pretty much for the week minus the weekend and even on the weekend i probably could scrape some things together to make meals um off of what i have but anywho i showed you guys some of the stuff in the store but then it just kind of got outrageous buggy was overflowing so i was just like let's just wait till we get home and i will give you guys a full grocery haul so see you guys in a few minutes child tell me why i just realized that i did not have the cart to take all of these groceries upstairs so best believe i called my husband and was like um get that cart downstairs and come help me with these groceries because who i'm not gonna go all the way up to the fourth floor get that cart bring it back down no ma'am too much work so <laughs> i'm sitting in the car waiting for my husband to bring me the car and help me with these groceries because mm -mm. and i'm gonna need him to help me put them up too it's just too much but no he'd be in the way never mind but anywho <laughs> i just had to tell y'all that see y'all upstairs all right girl so i've gotten all the bags on the counters trying to figure out like the most effective yet quick way mm. to show you guys the groceries. So maybe just pull everything out. So I got sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, 
bag of oranges. Santa Fe salads, $3.17. Got two of those. Cheese, I got this. This is my favorite type of cheese to have with tacos. I got this cheese and some Parmesan cheese for my sauce. I have the Crackle Barrel cheese. This is the Cheddar Jack. I love these with like grapes and like beef sticks for like a little afternoon snack. Got some more cheese. This is the Baby Bell soft cheese. Love this again for snack. Got some butter. Um, bread sticks for the spaghetti. French toast sticks for my son's breakfast. The Scott and John's, the shrimp scampi. Normally I get the um, shrimp Alfredo with the panini noodles, but they didn't have those. These were on sale as well, so I picked these up. Getting into some meats, I picked up these leg quarters. They are seasoned. This is the California Garlic Melody. I thought they looked really, really good. Super excited to make a nice healthy meal with those. Cut them in half, half thighs and legs. Great price, they were only $6.71. I picked up some fish. I get the tilapia. I know tilapia is not good for you, but I just really like the flavor profile of tilapia. Can't get over it. I got some um, lean ground beef. Two packages, one for spaghetti, one for tacos. Some deli meat for sandwiches and turkey wraps. My son loves these cut up for breakfast. Bacon. I have some veggies. So I got a head of romaine lettuce for like tuna wraps and Caesar wraps, things like that. Also picked up some cilantro. I pretty much put cilantro on everything. I'm obsessed. A bag of shredded of greens. This is like a step up from the iceberg, but got this for the tacos and then just a salad mix. Uh, cheese pizza for my son. This is the Tony's. More produce. I got some um, organic green grapes and a few, this is boxes, whatever, a few things of strawberries. This was on sale. I got the Chobani Greek yogurt. It has like the blueberry and granola mix in it. I have some croissants for breakfast. I plan on making, well, I wanted to. They didn't have the chicken sausage. So we normally get the Delilah's chicken sausage. My husband doesn't eat pork. And so it actually tastes really good. So I plan on putting some of the Delilah's chicken sausage with a little bit of cream cheese and a crescent roll in the morning for breakfast. So I'll have to go to another location to get the chicken sausage. Got some heavy whipping cream for the Cajun sauce, Olive Garden dressing for my salads. Um, they had some pre-made tuna on sale, so I grabbed this. And just in case I don't like it, I <laughs> grabbed the tuna that I normally get to make my own. Picked up my husband's favorite ice cream, the Hajin Dodge strawberry ice cream. Got some biscuits for breakfast, seasoning mix for the tacos, some um, yellow rice from when we have the chicken. Um, these are my favorite spaghetti sauces. The Pregu, to me, it tastes so much better than ragu. I'm telling you, it's better. Get it. So I got the tomato, onion, and garlic, and then traditional. I mix these two when I make my spaghetti. I have a case of waters, as you guys can see. All right, we got some bread and some croissants, again, for my tuna. A pack of chips for my son's lunch. I got some wine. I love this wine. This wine doesn't go far. And when I mean by it doesn't go far, the alcohol within this wine is very, very low. I normally like to get a minimum of 10%. 13 would be ideal. And I think this has like, it's very low. I think it's like 7% um, alcohol, but it just tastes so good so anyways i picked this up it was on sale this is the stella rosa blueberry um og for me almost done guys i told you we got a lot so i got the 
taco kits with soft and hard shells. I always get the kit because it comes with the um, mild sauce and the seasoning mix. I almost always get my own um, salsa to put on my tacos. My husband doesn't like like the thick homemade chunky salsa that I like. So that in there works, which reminds me that I did not get any of the salsa in the salsa that I like. Do I have some in the fridge? Hold on. Oh, cool, I had some in the fridge. This is the salsa that I like to put on my tacos. It tastes like restaurant quality. This is the medium. And then I also have some cheese dip in the fridge as well. Again, stuff for my son's lunch. He also likes these for snacks. These are the fruit and yogurt. They're actually really good. Some spaghetti noodles for, of course, the spaghetti. I am a country girl, so I love me some grits cheese grits in the morning. Got some croutons for my salad. So this is it a salad if you don't have croutons in it. And then I got some low carb wraps for the chicken and turkey wraps for lunch. This is, this particular item is like why I shop at Kroger over Publix or any other place. They just have the best deals. And to me, their meats are like the freshest. Like, the chicken that I showed you guys, the pre-seasoned chicken, amazing. And then I picked up this raw shrimp. It is a little bit over a pound for $10. Oh no, it's on sale for $9.44, so love that. The next bag for my son, panko chicken nuggets. He really likes these. And then also just got a bag of steamed broccoli. Picked up some corn on the cob for a spaghetti night, blueberries and pineapples for smoothies. Me and my husband love um, pineapples with tahini. So, so good. A great healthy snack. I have some spinach dip. Absolutely love this TGI Friday spinach dip. To eat with the spinach dip, I got some organic um, tortilla chips. By Simply Truth, love this brand. Put these up for my husband. He really likes like um, Chipotle bowls. And these are like a really good substitute is just for at home quick meals. So I picked him up the chicken queso bowl and the chicken verde burrito bowl. And then I just picked up myself. These are my favorite types of chips and they're the baked sour cream and cheddar. So yeah, girl, that is my huge, grocery haul. I'm about to get ready to put all of this stuff up. We were out of town all weekend, so I need to tidy this place up. Oh, and my flowers. Let me show you guys the flowers that I picked up. So excited about these. So these are the flowers that I picked up. If you don't know, purple is my favorite color and I really love this shade of purple. And for spring, I thought they were really cute. These also have like a hint of purple in them as well and then some eucalyptus i thought these were going to be so cute so super excited to make this arrangement i am not <laughs> going to make this arrangement until i clean up my apartment and that is going to be like my reward to be able to create this beautiful bouquet in a nice clean space so we will do that once i'm done but let me put these groceries away and then i will pick you guys back up i guess when i am cleaning and i am so mad about my nails popping off. They're growing on me a little bit. So I'll have to fix these two at some point today, possibly tomorrow. Anywho, I'm rambling because I don't want to do this fast, but I'll check back in with y'all.
the day the outfit of the day is just for around the house so on the top i have on a thrifted white button up picked this up from park avenue thrift the men's department underneath i just have on this tank old from target the sweats on the bottom are also from Target. I think these sweats are still available. And then I just have my house shoes on the bottom. And while I've been working, I've been having on this particular pair of blue light glasses. These are from T. Moo. But anywho, I wanted to show you guys these gorgeous flowers. So I picked these up yesterday at Kroger. I made this arrangement myself and I'm so proud of it. I think it is so stinking cute. It is so like spring inspired and the eucalyptus smells amazing. But anywho, yesterday I promised you guys an active wear haul from Halera or Halara. I'm not sure the pronunciation of that, but shout out to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So you have seen a few of these items in the previous vlogs, but we're going to go over them in detail. So I have four pairs of tights. Um, the first pair is going to be this gorgeous pair here. This is my absolute favorite style. This is the tummy control style here. And as you can see, you see how it kind of dips there in the front. It is perfect to catch your little mom pouch. And I love this like very in your face, almost like red, orange paprika color. Super, super cute. I plan on pairing this back with this top here. Now, this is also one of my favorite pieces from the haul. This is a high neck ribbed long sleeve top. Now, I love working out in long sleeves because it gives me a really good sweat. Also, it helps with like compression and things like that. So these two together is a whole vibe. I picked the sweats up in a size large and the top in a size large as well. Next up in the same style of tights, I picked up this um, gray pair here. Again, super, super flattering, very, very comfortable. This fabric feels so good against the skin. And I also like, I'm 5'7", and I also love where it hits. It hits like just above my ankle for these. So whatever shoes you pair with these is going to look really, really nice. I can pair these back with this black top here for, you know, a little bit more, you know, subtle look. Or I have paired this with this top here, this brownish top. This looks so good with my New Balance. Hold on, let me go get them for you. All right, so this colorway looks so cute with these New Balance here. It's almost like an exact match as far as the colors go. So you have browns and grays in here and this a little bit of cream. This look is super, super cute. I wore this look when we went to play tennis in previous vlogs. Love, love those two together. Next up in the two different tights that I have is going to be this kind of cross front pair of tights here. Now, this particular pair of tights isn't as like, you know, <laughs> it doesn't suck you in as much as the previous pair. However, these are very flattering because they're going to sit higher on your waist and then they kind of dip. So they actually create an illusion of a smaller waist. So I really love these. And again, pairing these back with this top for a brown and black moment, or I could pair it back with just this black top here. Now this black top is going to be a little bit more spring friendly because of the lightweightness of this top. It is still um, a long sleeve top, however, it's very, very breathable and it has thumb holes in this top. So I really love the fact that it has thumb holes. It just makes an elevated look. And you guys know I'm all about elevated simplicity over here. So this top, super, super cute. And again, all of the sizing for each piece is going to be in a size large. I am a true size large on the top and bottom. So keep that in mind when you're ordering your goodies. <clears throat> Next up is this top here. This top is one of those kind of in and out of the gym tops. 
So some of my girlies like to wear just your uh, sports bra in the gym. This is a gorgeous top just to kind of throw over the top of your sports bra, like when you're coming into the gym and you're warming up a little bit and then throwing it back on when you leave out of the gym, so forth and so on. I actually really, really like this to run errands in because it is just so lightweight, it's so breathable and the shape of it is impeccable. Like I love the bat wing sleeve on it. It is the perfect amount of crop and I really love the color. I told you guys before, I have been loving gray and this is super cute. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be pairing it back with my second pair of cross front leggings. I picked them up in this black color. Super, super cute. I love a good all black moment, but I'm trying to get into a little bit more of color in the gym because let's be honest, <laughs> I really don't wanna be in there anyway. So if I'm cute, I'm bright, it makes me in a better mood, you get the vibes. So the last two things that I picked up are going to be some lightweight coats. Again, we are entering into the spring, but it's still fairly cool here in Georgia. So again, going into the gym, out of the gym and warming up, something lightweight like this is going to be really, really essential for you. This is like a waffle knit type of jacket. I picked this up in a size large and I would keep the size large in this particular top. It does have a hood on it and it is slightly cropped. The last jacket is this one here. Again, same kind of concept, but this one is not in the waffle texture. It is in just a solid black. And this one is a lot more oversized. So if you like this one, which I really, really do, I would go ahead and size down and it comes with a hood as well. All right, ladies, that was it for my little activewear haul. Remember, if you're interested in any of these pieces, make sure to check the description bar down below for all of the shoppable links. But anywho, girl, I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I need to get back to work and get some more things done, but I truly appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for 25K. Thank you to all of the new people who have subscribed and to my OG subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys for coming back each and every time. Make sure you stay tuned. There is more fashion content to come. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.